Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. If you have ever worked with Java web application, you might have worked with servlets before. Servlets handle the request coming into a Java based web application. In this video, I will talk about the Sling servlet. Servlets are registered as OSGS services in AEM and Sling application use either scripts or servlets to process HTTP requests in a restful way. Sling is resource oriented which maps into a JCR nodes. With Sling, a request URL is first resolved to a resource and then based on the resource, it selects the actual servlet or script to handle request. So at last, requests are handled by either scripts or servlet in AEM. And there are two ways to access servlet in AEM. The first is by using path and the second way is by using resource type. The path is not the recommended way and the resource type is a recommended way of using AEM. I will tell you the reason behind that later. Let's first create a servlet using the path method. Open the Eclipse. Here I have this demo training project. As we know, servlets can be registered as OHS services. So we'll create it within the core of our project. This is my demo train.core. I will go to SRC main Java. And here I have this package com.aem.demo.co.servlets. Here I will create a class. Click on new, go to the class and name it as test sling servlet. Now click on finish. It will create a class test sling servlet. Now I have already created this class in my GitHub. So you can go to the GitHub. You can find this link in my description below. You can go here, click on developer course and just scroll down and click here test sling servlet. Open it and this is my class. Let's copy this code and paste here. So previously till AM 6.2 Felix SCI annotations were used. So using this annotation you can define the servlet this way. Add the sling servlet annotations. This is no more used. And this is how you can define the path. Bin training project test servlet. But after 6.2 version OSGI declarative service annotations are used. And in this we can define the servlet as at the rate component. And attribute as service equal to servlet.class. And in the property, we can define the path sling.service.path equal to bin training project test servlet. This is how we can define the path here. This is my class name and it is extending sling safe method servlet. If you are using, if you are overriding do get method, then we should use sling safe method servlet. And if we are overriding do post, in that case, we can use sling all method servlet. Here I am using do get, so I am extending with sling safe method servlet. And inside this, I am setting the header and writing out sling servlet called and closing the writer which will send the response and notice the path here this path is where we can access this particular servlet so if I go to HTTP local 4502 bin training project test servlet it will be called now let's build this project go to the command prompt And to execute this command, I'm going to install hyphen p auto install package and click on enter. It will build our project. Once the build is success, you can go to the AM. Here, just open the system console bundle, OSJ console, and let me refresh this. And uh, let's open the Let's search for our bundle demo training. It's here and let's open this. Here you should see the, here you should find your servlet name. So ours was test link servlet. Here you can see the entry of this service. Now to access this servlet, I need to put this path. So copy this path and let's access this and click on enter. Now you can see the servlet has been called successfully and it is displaying sling servlet called. This is how you can define the servlet using path and how you can access this. 
in the next video we will see how you can create a servlet by using the source type and also we'll see how you can access that thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching